matter how young we are or where we're at in life, uh, we're, we're mortals. We don't, we don't live forever. And so we don't think about eternity. We're thinking about today. We're thinking about graduation. We're thinking about next year. We're thinking about you know, this life. But the reality is you have to consider that one day all of this comes to an end for everybody. How many of you have ever been to a funeral? Funerals aren't real happy times. The one thing you learn there is if you see the person, is that they're not here anymore. Their body, it's a shell, but they're not here. The person that they are, their sense of humor, their uh, intelligence, all of that's gone. And so this empty shell is now there, but that spirit lives on. And the issue for all of us is where is that spirit going to live on it? Is it going to make heaven its home? Is it going to be able to uh, enter into the kingdom of God? And Jesus said, unless we're born again, we cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And so what is being born again? That means I was born a sinner, but I had to come to God and say, God, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I know who I am. I'm, I'm flawed. I'm messed up. But I ask you to forgive me, come into my life, change me, make me a new person. And when I do that, the Bible says that God's Spirit comes into us and makes us spiritually alive. Because we're born spiritually dead. We're born spiritually separate from God. Ever since Adam and Eve fell, every human being that's been born has been born spiritually separate from God, according to the Bible. And so Jesus came to bridge that gap for us. That's why He died on the cross. That's why He went.